Hi, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about uh, our assignment nine, part two. Um, we need to make a three minute video and the information we have here are the 13th, the 113th Congress bills. Um, what has been passed, what didn't pass, um, what time of day they passed, the voting went through. Um, so here we're going to look at the hour um, that they were that they voted. Um, if you vote at uh, 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 p.m. 1 p.m. is 1300, 1400, etc. And uh, it's kind of interesting that you can see here on this, um, let's see, this is a heat map. We can see on this heat map the time of day is 2 o'clock here and 7 and 6 o'clock there were also quite a few votings that happened. Um, this particular one is only the past votes. So if uh, the bill that was presented passed um, and this is the time of day. So let's carry on. We have failed votes here and we have the time of day that these uh, bills were passed. We have a lot at 11 o'clock that failed, but they were voted on. Um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and 5 o'clock in the evening. If we compare the hours, this is the hours of failed votes with the hours of passed votes, um, we have 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Here we have 2 o'clock again and 5 o'clock. So it's kind of interesting. There is something to do with either voting happens a lot maybe in the mid-afternoon and then in the evening. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see what else we can do here. We have another heat map. Um, these are past votes by the month. You can see here, here are all the months, January, February, March, April, May, and then um, another heat map. So October had a lot of voting that happened that passed and July and then it's pretty consistent up here in the top um, so the summer had a lot of voting uh, let's see with the failed here we have the failed in a heat map and it is by month so the January February June is really high and July now it's interesting that the failed ones uh, are more in the spring and very few that failed in the fall Whereas we, if we looked by the month, it was pretty medium all through the spring. High in the summer, same June, July area, and higher in the fall. So that's, that's kind of interesting. And finally, this brings us to our tree map. Um, this is about the body, so the House of Representatives for the United States versus the Senate. And which ones passed in what month. So here we have July is the most for the House of Representatives. The count of vote results was uh, 630. And the Senate, all of these are Senate, um, you can see there on the body as I highlight over each one. All of the light ones are the Senate, except for this one, House of Representatives, House, House, House. So that's kind of interesting. The House of Representatives had a lot more tree, uh, I'm sorry, a lot more votes in May, June, and July. And then in the fall, in the spring, August, September, October, the Senate had some, but not a whole lot. So it's kind of interesting. Um, this is our information that we uh, made for Assignment 9, Part 2. Um, again, this is the bills for the 113th Congress and the past fails. We looked at the um, hourly pass and the hourly failed. And then again for the monthly pass and monthly fail and a tree map, just looking at the differences between the House of Representatives and Senate. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's good to look at. Uh, thank you for listening. And this is Alicia Foreman. So have a good day.